oh my gosh you guys i cannot believe it is that time again welcome back to another video today we're doing a sketchbook tour i am really happy to be done with the sketchbook actually <laughs> i feel like i've been working on it forever and actually if you look at the date whenever i started it was so i know this is probably going to be a little bit of a longer video so i'm going to go ahead and jump right into it so I did end up painting the sketchbook and I did, I can't remember if I started filming it or not, but I didn't actually get it on video, but I did do some acrylic paint and Posca Ben and then white paint. And then I had this, this little sticker of a little orange character on there. Uh, oh, and if you don't know what kind of sketchbook this is, it's an ELO sketchbook. This is my second one of these. Um, but yeah, I actually really like these sketchbooks. Um, I am wanting something smaller. <laughs> uh, I love the paper, but I do wish it was a little bit smaller, so. Yep. So, to go ahead and get started, I'm going to, this is the little front, like yellow, where I was, front yellow pages that I was working on to, figure out what I wanted to do for the cover and that's what I ended up doing. Here is the first page <laughs> and you'll see the date if you can see it. it's kind of small down there but it is December 26th 2019. So I finished the sketchbook a few days ago and it's now October of 2020 so <laughs> I've been working on this in a while. So yeah, I re actually really liked this page and I did some new swatches of new art supplies that I got that Christmas. Uh, okay, so real quick on this format of the video, I'm gonna try and speak like minimally about the individual things so that the art can just speak for itself and so that the video is not super, super long. So just a little note on that. Uh, these were some new gouache um, tubes that I got that I really like and I did some swatches pictures of my doggy, uh, some Disney fan art, and I also did her in Clarabelle and gouache. Did some little marker art, marker fan art of Pluto, couldn't think of the name there. <laughs> uh, trying out my gouaches, and this actually was working on a little, let's see if I can find it. This I was actually working on here for this thing. Just a little mini illustration that I thought turned out actually pretty cute, so I was pretty happy with it. Did some gouache things and random things on my desk. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Interesting. <laughs> I like the elephant. Uh, I did, this is where the original bunny character came from. I was working on it and that's how he started and that's how he came to be. I started with the watercolor and then I moved to marker. Some Disney fan art. This is from Brother Bear. It's one of my favorites. Some more bunny characters. And I think this one I was actually working on their kids, I believe. You don't see them much in my videos, but I do mostly just, um, I actually haven't done a video with them in a while. So oh, there's another pose. Trying to figure out a house. I don't think I ever found a house design that I liked, so I just decided to leave it without. This are, these are some, I think, drawings from a reference. <laughs> okay, one thing you'll see throughout this is my drawing people style changes pretty drastically, I feel like. Um, I feel like it does in every sketchbook, but I feel like I especially see it when I'm flipping through this, so. Oh, this was something I actually really liked. I did like a day in drawings and I actually had a lot of fun with this. I'd seen this idea from a YouTube video a long time ago and I decided to try it out and I actually was pretty happy with it. I think it turned out pretty cool. <laughs> this was my Kiki redesign. I did actually do a video on it. So if you guys want to see that, it'll be in the iCard over here. Some more Disney fan art. I think a, during a lot, oh, and some expressions. I actually like that one. <laughs> um, oh, I had so much fun with this page. I'm like, I had filled it up and I loved 
how it looked. I did some trying to figure out how to position him from like the side and everything. I liked Hey Hey over here from Moana, some more Disney fan art. <laughs> I feel like a lot of the sketchbook was Disney fan art um, in the beginning anyway. Some gouache painting ideas I was working on. Uh, these were some things from a book my sister got me for Christmas. Some Art of Tangled uh, studies. <laughs> Some more of these characters. Oh, and my little fish. <laughs> Not exactly sure what's going on in this page. <laughs> it looks like it was done over several different days. I think that's why it's all like crazy. But I actually like the way Carl looks in that one. Ooh. I think, um, yeah. For some reason I was drawing really big and I don't think it was really helping my art at the moment. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is whenever I designed my orange character and I actually do have a video on that. Um, also in the card. Some more people. <laughs> um, this is some stuff I did for my Thursday outfit. I actually really like how that looks. I had a lot of fun doing that. Um, this, if you guys notice, it's a little thumbnail that I'd have for the end of my videos. I started doing that a while ago. Oh, actually a full-bodied person there. Looks pretty stiff, but there is one. Another My Day in Drawings. Oh, I actually liked the way these turned out. This one mostly of the watercolor. That turned out pretty fun. Um, this is whenever I was doing like my 10 facts about me. I was working on that in my sketchbook, just getting an idea of it. So I was trying to work out some profile picture ideas over here and for some reason I colored pencil drawing. I'm not sure quite why I did colored pencil, but you know. <laughs> There's the five facts about me page. This I was experimenting with different like like making the person related to a shape, if that makes sense. Like having this was a square character, you have more sharp edges and more of a square. And this one's more round, so I like how those. Oh, I really had fun with, okay. This is, I feel like when you really start to kind of like see my art change a little bit, I watched a Drawing With Waffles video, of course. And it was just like how she was showing different ways to color with your markers and I tried it out with some of mine and some fine liners I had and I really really liked how it turned out. I think it turned out really fun. Um, I did it over, I don't know if you can tell but I glued on different eyes because I think something happened to the other ones. <laughs> um, but yeah I definitely like that and I did, oh there was the final sketch I did for the end bit of my video. Doing some more of that. A little bit more here and there. Um, this I was just doing some like little environment drawings, I guess. But yeah, it's like little mushroom character and like a statue. Kind of like a ruined area. <laughs> um, here I was working on some different poses and expressions for my orange character. I really like how cute he looks up there. This, I think I was actually watching High School Musical and Gabriella's hair was like this at the moment. So I decided to do that. Some elephants. I really like drawing elephants. Um, I think you'll notice the theme at the through the sketchbook is I'll occasionally throw in some elephants because I feel like I'm not too bad at them. So. <laughs> Oh, these were some like purple pencil drawings. I actually had fun with this. These were some cars that I actually liked how they turned out. Um, I was trying to get an intro idea or like an animation thing figured out, but it didn't quite work out. So there was that. And then person. Um, oh, I was really happy with this. This is, I'm gonna here, lift it up for you guys. A watercolor of my set up at the time for my videos. It still looks like this a little bit. We ended up painting my room and yeah, I still have the desk and everything, but had fun with that one. I did, this was my, 
Nautica fan art original drawing. Well, I liked how this turned out. It was with watercolors and a in a pink pencil. I liked how that turned out. I like this little avocado and this little scene here was from a reference and I did it with watercolor and I liked how that looked. This page is pretty sparse. <laughs> I don't think I was feeling too good about um, my art at that time. Um, this I was working on like a little square building. This was a colored pencil um, person. But here I was working on drawing a bell pepper. <laughs> Some more random things. Uh, this was inspired by Pi Pifas, or I think that's how you pronounce it. Pifas art um, on YouTube, and she did a like a lo-fi GIF kind of inspired thing, and I decided to do something similar, but on my own, and I actually really like how it turned out. Uh, this, I was actually working on drawing people for a little bit. Um, I started with like the little head bits and this was from Brushes and Bunnies. Um, and so I was working on it and then this I pulled out a reference for and I was so happy with how it turned out. I think it looked really good. I was really happy with how it looked. Um, some light little poses and everything. Still working on my faces. <laughs> I was working on my like girl character kind of like so this character here and kind of like work on it more. Um, yeah so she's got a little dog. There's another person. I actually like how that one turned out too. More people. Um, this, I was actually thinking about like if Kiki were a human, so I did some of that and I liked how she turned out. I feel like her outfit looks a little bit like a minion, but that's okay. <laughs> and then I kind of did some little items, but yeah, I did a full bodied person in like a little action pose. That's I think the only one you see <laughs> in this. Um, oh wait, here are some more. This was from some studies I was working on. This was actually my room layout. We had, were, whenever we painted my room, we were rearranging furniture and everything, so I wanted to get an overhead view. Uh, some hand studies. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it's like, <laughs> okay, I was working on some sort of Minecraft. A house or whatever and I think I was using some of this to work on some more poses um more random things I did actually do an illustration with that some more Minecraft things and a strange hand oh there was the thing that I did some more random I actually like how she turned out. She looks really similar, or not similar, like familiar for some reason, and I'm not sure why. So I don't know if it's something I've seen before. Okay, this is what I was really happy with, and I feel like my art had kind of slowly started changing to this more, and I was this is what I used a reference for. And if you guys remember from my last sketch sketchbook tour. I did the same character, but she looks completely different. And this looks definitely more like a reference. Um, more trying to get some reference drawings, but didn't turn out quite the way I was wanting. <laughs> trying to figure out the pe some more people and all of that. Still trying to work things like that out. Oh, I was really happy with this page. This was Clawhauser from. Uh, Zootopia and then Judy. I really liked how Clawhauser turned out. Uh, for some reason, a rock character. Yeah, I don't. I don't really know. <laughs> um, this here, I was working on a watercolor Polaroid of my orange character. Yeah, I thought he turned out really cute. Um, these were poses from Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse that I did and I actually was really happy with this. I was able to kind of like look at um, like the way he was drawn and it was it just kind of made sense. Um, this I was very happy with. I did a sketch initially I mean obviously but 
I went back over with marker and my different colored fine liners and I was really really happy with it. Uh, here's when I was working on my strawberry character. Again, I have a video for that as well. This is whenever I was working on my print uh, design. I wanted to do it in my sketchbook first and then I decided to go in with my markers on different kind of paper. Um, some random like little fill-in bits. Um, some more of those. Uh, oh, I actually made some like little tape designs, if it'll focus. There we go. I thought it turned out pretty cute. Then I was working on some other random things. I've noticed like a theme with <laughs> these sketchbooks is my drawings are very sparse and that's something I think I struggled with, especially whenever it was um, like, I really just didn't know what to draw and all of that. So my page is very like, this is like super full and then this is super sparse. So yep, uh, some more people drawing, some more Art of Tangled things. Uh, here I was still working on people. I don't think these are terrible, but they're not quite how I was wanting them. So I was trying to like get an idea. These were some references I printed out. Um, some more people drawing. I was so happy with this one. I think you guys actually saw this one. But I did it with pen and my India ink and I was so happy with it. Yeah, I really liked how it turned out. I tried to do a few more. It didn't turn out as good, but yeah, here I was working on my orange character card, orange and lemon character card. Um, <laughs> uh, here are my more elephants. I was really happy with the way these turned out. Um, these were actually for a video that I filmed, but didn't actually make it to final bits and everything so yep and then here we've made it to the last page and if you don't know what this is from this is the Mickey Mouse shorts on Disney Channel they're some of my favorites they're so cute and this is from one of my favorite shorts I really liked it so yeah I think I have a few things in here I ended up working over like whenever I did where I uh, didn't have a sketchbook that I was working on just printer paper and I worked out a little design for this and I ended up doing it with either watercolors I think yeah I don't think it's too bad it's not my favorite but I think it turned out kind of cool um some random watercolor things from I think YouTube tutorials actually and then here were my bunny Funny characters. <laughs> so yeah, I think that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed. And yeah, coming up soon, I think my next video next week it should be a like um welcome to my new sketchbook kind of video. Uh so yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. <laughs>